What's up, fellow journeyers? Welcome to Florida. <laughs> we typically don't come to Florida until like January, but we have our first ever event going on and tons going on already. Did you help carry everything, Hensley? Mm -hmm. What all we got here? These are our packages for the event. And these are also <laughs> our packages for the event. Look at all these packages. Less junk. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> We're giving it all away. I think almost all this is giveaway stuff, so. So another first for us is the Shared Buddy Tiki Hut site. We basically pulled in as a pull through and then Stuart and Lindsay backed in and we get to share this Tiki Hut, which is also gonna double as registration. Oh yeah, that looks great. Aren't those adorable? Oh, let me see girl. Yes. Where's our patch? We need to put <laughs> There's so much going on. Kids, when the kids showed up to this Tiki Hut site, mind's blown. I put my headlight on, but Stuart doesn't need it, so. Look at him, he is prepared. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen them so excited to show up at a campsite before in my life. Look at all that humidity, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to Florida. What's going on here, Hansel? I'm making my own toast. So this is chocolate honey. Okay. Hensley made her own breakfast and packed it up and everything here. Oh, wow. I'm a little spider. Come on, Come on, I'll show you. Oh, Marissa, for some unknown reason, has agreed to work out with Dave. <laughs> we call him Super Dave. Him and Val took us out in San Francisco. They're here for the event. You about bit it. <laughs> I was watching you, man. That, that thing's was close. Look, look, that thing's flexing like crazy. I, <laughs> I saw a Dave's Walmart workout and I was like, no, I'm good. <laughs> you and Dave work out. Oh, like, quit being a wimp. I'm not in CrossFit shape anymore. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Why aren't you over here, Nathan? I already worked out this morning. Oh, right. <laughs> you went for a walk? I went for a walk. <laughs> Me and Al walked as a mini, mini doodle this morning. I want to walk a mini doodle. Now last night, and this definitely happens in Florida, it monsooned. I mean monsoon. We were expecting some rain but it came down hard. Actually more surprising than the fact that it monsooned out of nowhere last night is that I looked out my window and Stuart and Corey had their shirts off, washing everything in sight. You're not even surprised. Stuart's washing his truck too. Yeah, he's back there. <laughs> you can't film this. <laughs> You're crazy, man. Hey, it's a spot for your wrist. <laughs> this is great. Oh my goodness. You guys are crazy. I just made it on taking my shirt off. Apparently it's the perfect time to wash your RV, so. I think the funny, funniest part of it all is that I, when I called Jesse, I was like, is your husband washing our RV in the rain? She's like, oh yeah, probably. Like, and not even surprised, not even like, what, what is he doing? Like, like this is a thing. This is a total thing he does often. So. You didn't recognize you with your shirt on. <laughs> you know how much footage I got with my long lens of you two? Uh... I don't even want to know. He washed yours, he washed your truck. He washed my truck too? Oh yeah. <laughs> the RV looks great actually. When you think of people <laughs> just... <laughs> I don't know what to say. I was, I was trying to think, yeah, I don't know. Um, I would like to say it was a beautiful thing. It, it was a beautiful gesture. Beautiful gesture. It was a beautiful thing. 
You gonna be able to move today, Marissa? Oh yeah, she's gonna be able to move well. <laughs> a little sweaty. In Florida? In Florida. That don't make any sense. As soon as we walked outside, I think I asked her, "You already been? You already been working out?" <laughs> no. <laughs> Get out of there. No. Get out. Never. I'm never Get out. out ever again. No, we have a perfectly working Jeep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Marissa, no. Uh, yeah, I'm not getting in. I can't do it. I, I can't. You for a run? Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's in a Bronco. Oh, Where did you find it? Who's this? Is? They said this is like a Jeep, but it rides like a yeah, car, yeah, it's which nice. is not. That's. You want to go for a ride? Isn't that pretty? Have fun. Well, Nathan, I need you to do some work, though. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> you seriously do love this, I know, don't you? Yeah. I love this so much. Yeah these latch and come off and then that latches and comes off you don't have the folding folding in there <laughs> so we're here in auburndale florida margaritaville with our community team journey we maxed the registration at 50 rvs i think there might end up being like 57 something like that after we end up throwing in a couple of cabins and stuff like that and then everybody coming to help with the event so 57 ish i think like 150 people is what we ended up with which is actually a lot we were really trying to keep this small and i think it is still small in context we want this event to be all about connecting uh and really the whole gist of this video and the and, and the whole goal of the event is we want everyone to find and connect with their one because the coolest part is if you if you if you just connect with that one over time it becomes two three, four, and you can hardly see through these windows, but you know, but that's, we connected with Stuart and Lindsay at some point as our one, you know, we connected with the Nickersons up in Alaska as our one at some point. Again, it's hard to see, but we've connected with Kevin and Alicia multiple times, including the Alaska hike. We're like slipping and sliding down the slope. It's looking, uh, looking beautiful up there, babe. Don't go in the rain. It's a bad idea. Don't, don't do it. Dave and Val, Dale and Angela, I hate to start like, like so many people that we love and have connected with and we continue to connect with over time. Find and connect with your one. And we based so many decisions on this event, on this theme of finding and connecting with your one. Even before the event started, we had a private group set up for everybody coming to the event where they could start connecting with each other beforehand. We paid attention to people's interests, who they knew, didn't know, and where people parked on the event was based on some of those interests or whether they had kids or not, or whether they're a couple or not. From day one with the event, we wanted to send the message that, hey, we are here for you, we wanna connect with you, and we want everybody to connect with each other. So registration, it was at the Tiki Hut with our RV and Living Small Dreaming Big. Now Marissa and I did talk, but it was a QA. and a it was, it was interactive with everybody. We had games. We intentionally made the schedule not so packed that people would almost feel rushed to have to do things instead of just slowing down and connecting with people around them. We had giveaways, and for my goodness, for like the 50 people registered, I felt like we had a lot of stuff. It seemed like almost everybody won something. Huge thank you, Lippert, Grand Design, Betty's. Our partners and sponsors really came through and were a huge part of these giveaways. We hosted an early screening of the video coming out the Sunday after the huddle. Turned the lights off, got the projector out, and just watched it together. It was a ton of fun watching what was usually a Sunday video with a group of 150 people. Stuart hosted a tech chat. Uh, we had a tiny tour of homes. We'll be showing that in the later video where we opened up our RV and other members of Team Journey can open up their RV and let people see not just their RV, but what it's like to actually live in an RV. And really one of the biggest decisions we made was where we wanted to host this event. We fell in love with this campground a year ago because it's so community driven. They have these community fire pits here and just inviting pools for people to just kind of relax and swim around and meet new people as you're swimming around. It was such a cool experience. Just campfires every night, meals and fellowship and pool time. It has been absolutely amazing just spending this quality time together. There's just something about a campfire and a pool. <laughs> All of a sudden I'm looking this way and I see the person in front of me gasp. And I'm like, what are they gasping at? So I turn around. Just cover my face. Marissa <laughs> <laughs> ran over there, tried to get him to stop. And I know from the bottom of my heart, nobody is here by an accident. Like just hearing everyone's story of that it was perfect timing and you met the people that you needed to meet. This room was meant to be. And so thank you for being a part of this for us. It's been special. We'll never forget something. <laughs> It's 
definitely quite the blur here at our event. I think we intended on like doing live vlog style, but man, it's been tons of fun, but also like, I feel like full focus toward everyone who's here. So at the same time, it has been hard to vlog. So many awesome things going on. Now we mentioned earlier, one of the things we're doing in our huddle is called the Tiny Tour of Homes. We thought, you know what, as a part of the tour of Tiny Homes, as people come in our RV, would it be neat to get feedback from people about, does our RV actually look and feel in person? like it does on the screen. Oh, yes, it looks so different in person. Yeah? Yes. Oh, it looks better than on the Okay. Oh, yeah. It looks so much bigger on YouTube. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> it's so bright in here. I feel like ours is like a cave. And it's it makes it look bigger. Bigger on TV? No, in person. You know it's... Yeah. 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 This is the electric 3.0. Now Marissa and I have owned two electric 2.0s for over a year now. So I feel like we're probably pretty good candidates to try out the 3.0 and see if all the upgrades that are on the spec sheet feel like they're doing that in real life. The 3.0 has 150 pound max capacity versus the 2.0 has a 75 pound max capacity on the rack. We mainly put our kids on ours. You could put an adult on the 3.0. It has expanded range and better pedaling efficiency. You can unlock the 2.0 to go above the standard mileage, but this one out of the box goes up to 28 miles an hour. The grips have 7.25% more cushion. For, no, I don't, I don't know. They're, they're supposed to feel better. And I would agree, they do. The grips do feel better. Um, they have more of a cushion to them than the 2.0s have. The suspension fork should have about 20% more travel to it, so you can go farther before the suspension starts to wear out. You got about a 15% increase in the brake rotors. So it should also have better braking in this than the 2.0. Now the upgrades that are on this model that we have that we're gonna show you today. Now a lot of these can be on the 2.0 or the 3.0. We've got the upgraded seat post with suspension and the seats. We love this in our 2.0. We've got it again on the 3.0. This time we got upgraded light on the front. I'm, we actually used our light more than we thought we would on our 2.0. And sometimes I would travel with a head lamp just to have some extra light so i'm really curious you know at night time we try as we try this out and show you guys how much uh how much better this light is than the standard light and then we had these on our 2.0 bikes as well but the folding lock i love it you can just install it right here on the bike it's always with us just neatly tucked in now another difference between the 2.0 and the 3.0 this is the 3.0 black i mean it does look more like a true black i noticed on the uh 2.0 the black was more of a um I don't know, it had like a hint of blue maybe or something like that, and it wasn't like a, just a true black. I, I like this black a little better than the 2.0 black, personally. Now you might be wondering, Nathan, you gave all these upgrades or differences between the 2.0 and the 3.0, you missed a big one, and that is the torque. So the 3.0 has like 30 to 40% more torque, which is basically how fast you can speed up. You know, flat ground, hills, torque is awesome. So Marissa and I are gonna test out the torque. We're actually gonna race. 2.0, I guess a 3.0. Now we gave away our 2.0s um, here at the huddle. So. Oh my, <laughs> that was so much fun. I mean, the winners of those bikes were so excited. Now we get to see them out making memories on the bike. So I'm excited to see what this 3.0 does. So appreciate Travis. Uh, Travis is gonna let us borrow his uh, 2.0. I made an assumption that Marissa is gonna want the one that is probably gonna go <laughs> faster. So she has the 3.0. We're gonna race from here to the blue building down here. Okay. And we're gonna see which is pretty we much right before, the, right before the curve. Three, two, one, go! So I don't know how to measure torque exactly. I can feel but it. But you can, I can, when I, yeah, yeah. I, I can totally I can see it. <laughs> feel it. Yeah, that is a, actually a huge difference. So you can feel the acceleration on it. I can, I can feel it for sure. I thought electric bikes were so gimmicky. Nathan approached me and wanted one and I was like, we do not need that, Nathan. But I'm gonna be so honest. I have absolutely loved them. It is just allowed our families to go further do things we weren't able to do before we had them no matter your age season of life you're in we can keep up with anybody and we can all stay together like when we rode around lake tahoe um, we had our kids and we could just keep up at different paces and my favorite is i ran into a guy one time that says man just having one of these bikes makes me feel like a kid again so if you're interested in electric 3.0 e-bike uh, we're gonna put a link below 
to those e-bikes. And then also you can go to lessjunkmorejourney.com slash e-bike. So exciting news, we've officially booked our next huddle, the location for that, and it will be in... <laughs> she thinks that's so cheesy. And it'll be in Verde, Verde Ranch, Ranch RV, RV Resort. Resort in Arizona. Yay. <laughs> I have heard so many people rave about this campground. So when the opportunity came that we could host a huddle at this resort, it's going to be incredible. And we look forward to this so much. This is another campground like Margaritaville we keep hearing things about mm -hmm. as far as being a great place for connecting. And it's just south of Sedona, so you can't go wrong. Like, there's tons to do in this it's area. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful <laughs> area. Uh, so we will put links to those tickets in the description below as well, or you can go to teamjourneyhuddle.com and snag a ticket. And we're going to go ahead and tell you, these <laughs> tickets are going to go fast. People at our last event got first opportunity to buy these tickets. Mm -hmm. Half of them sold immediately, even though it was across the country. We were, <laughs> we were blown away. So people are excited to go. These will sell out. Uh, so teamjourneyhuddle.com if you want a ticket. We cannot wait to see you there and we cannot wait to see you connect with your one. Well, as we wrap up, Hensley has uh, something special she wants to say to you that she's also said um, at our Team Journey Huddle. You got anything to say, Hensley? Yes, like and subscribe. <laughs> and that is our journey for today. So until next time. Catch you guys later. <laughs>